Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you a new palette that I'm setting up and I'm mostly using gouache paints for this palette. So when you look online on what gouache paints are, you mostly get that they are opaque watercolors. And I'm not sure, I haven't done enough research to understand all the differences, but from what I can tell, some gouache paints are more opaque and some are more transparent, and it's the same with watercolors. Some are more opaque and some are more transparent. Now, in my watercolors, I usually get uh, transparent ones because that's what I like about them. And I really wanted some variety in my art journaling and painting. So I wanted um, that uh, possibility of using more opaque paint. Now, of course, you could use something like acrylics, but I really love the ease of using uh, a medium like watercolor just in the sense that you can have uh, a fixed palette and just you know reactivate it with water uh, and you don't have to set up all your colors every time l if like you would if you used acrylics so that's why I decided to set up this palette and I chose a selection of colors most of them are Shinhan Pass watercolors or hybrid watercolors and they are marketed as um, a hybrid watercolor and gouache paint if you use it uh, in a very thick um, form with little water then it's more like wash and then if you add water it's more like watercolor and what i like about them is the fact that they are very affordable and the colors are very uh, bright so i'm going to show you how i swatched uh, my paints and then uh, you'll see me set up the palette. I'll put all the uh, relevant products in the description box. Now I'm swatching all the gouache colors that I have plus a few watercolors that I wanted to include in this palette and not all of them are going to make it to my final palette uh, but I just wanted to show you this. So most of my colors are the Shinhan Pass uh, hybrid paints, but I also have a selection of Windsor and Newton gouache that are made in France. The Shinhan are Korean. And I think one uh, Schminke gouache, no, or two Schminke gouache made it to the final palette. And uh, a few of the Shinhan watercolors, uh, just a few shades that are very, very opaque because they have white in them. So even though they are um, labeled as watercolors to me they seem like gouache or let's just say it as it is they are opaque watercolors obviously if you add a lot of water you get a very pale shade that is um, transparent but they are quite opaque so i'll tell you the colors that i have and uh, as i said most of them make it to the palette not everyone so the first one is the shinhan uh, lemon yellow and I wanted I tried to include um, you know two versions of the primary colors so a more uh, blue biased yellow like lemon yellow and then a warmer uh, more orangey yellow and they are pretty bright the second color is Shinhan Pass permanent yellow and it is like a good warm yellow <laughs> I'm not in love with it but uh, for now it will do. The third one is Schmincke Cadmium Yellow Deep and it's very vibrant and uh, a lovely um, shade of orange, I guess. The fourth one I can't pronounce the name of, it's from Shinhan, it's their uh, professional watercolors and you can see the tube there on the right side of the screen. Um, and it's kind of like, I guess, a flesh tone and it's made of PO20, which is the same pigment as the previous color, the Schmincke Cadmium Yellow Deep, but uh, this one has also white in it. So you could probably make something very similar if you just added white to the Schmincke gouache. And this is why it's always good to also check which pigments are in your paints so that you don't buy extra ones. 
this color I'm swatching now is Windsor Newton Naples Yellow, and it's a really lovely uh, kind of yeah Naples Yellow. It's a it's a really pretty shade. I really like it. And then I have white. I really wanted to have white so I can make more uh, pastel colors. Now the thing is with uh, I really wanted variety here, and I'm very uh, drawn to bright colors, and that's why I chose the uh, colors in this palette. Uh, obviously with bright colors you can mute them, but if you really like muted colors then you know you should probably go for other choices because it will just take you a lot of time to mix uh, the colors that you like every time that you use them. And I think the Shinhan Pass, I think they say on their package that you should not use the paint when it's dried already but if I'm not mistaken I think I read that on their package but it re-wets beautifully so I really like the convenience of having a palette with uh, paint just ready to go not having to squeeze it out every time I want to paint something because I usually have very short periods of time to actually paint and setting up a palette every time just you know, wastes that little painting time that I have. Um, I like the tubes of the Shinhan. They are plastic, the hybrid paint, the Pass, Shinhan Pass paint. They are plastic and the paint doesn't pour out of them, so you get better control. I did have with some colors, um, they just poured a little bit out until I got to the more thick consistency. Uh, not of all of them, but some. So let's go back to the colors. Uh, this one is Shinhan Pass Vermilion Hue, and it's a really lovely uh, shade of, well, you can see like a very reddish orange or kind of a yellow biased red if you want. Um, I really like it. Then the next one is also a good one, and this one is also Shinhan Pass. It's called Bright Red, and it's a very, very bright um kind of a little bit yellow biased red I would say it's a lovely color really fun to paint with now some of these you can probably see it better um, in the close-up shots of this swatch uh, sheet some of them are more or you can see it also on screen actually some of them are more transparent and then some are clearly more opaque this one is Shinhan Pass Carmine and it's a lovely uh, carmine, it's very, very intense. Uh, now we're moving on to the pinks and the violets, which are always my favorite, so that's why there's a large representation of these compared to the other ones. It's because of personal preference. Obviously, you could mix um, all or some of these colors, but I like to have a variety of pinks at my fingertips. So the really intense fluorescent one, um, the first one, not the the one I'm doing now, the one I previously did, is the Shinhan Pass Pink. And it's actually more like the opera, um, you know, color that all the brands have. It's really, really fluorescent. And then the next one is Shinhan Pass Opera, which is this really, like, hot pink, I would say. And I probably like it better than the... Uh, than the previous one, the pink one, but I do like the fluorescent pink for um, mixing colors. I love to use it in mixes. And the last one in that row is Windsor Newton Opera Rose, which is a really beautiful kind of bluish pink, very lovely. Uh, what else I want to say? Yeah, so obviously these the super bright fluorescent colors are um, they tend to be not very light fast. This is pretty much the same in every brand. Um, it's not something that I worry about because I don't put my paintings uh, on, in direct sunlight. They're mostly in a journal or um, somewhere protected from light and sun. Uh, but if that's something you're worried about, then check the light fast ratings. And as I said, what I like about the Shinhan Pass colors is, first of all, their intensity, but the price. I mean, most of these tubes 
they are 20 milliliters and they cost somewhere between like two and a half pounds and three and a half pounds I think which is really really a great price for such uh, intense vibrant paints so let's move on the next one is um, Windsor & Newton Bengal Rose sorry if I mispronounced it and it's very similar to the Opera Rose so you probably don't need both I think the Opera Rose is a tad more intense and the Bengal Rose is looks a bit more transparent and the second color the one I'm just finishing now is called Rose it's also Windsor & Newton it's called Rose Tyrian or Tyrian sorry again if I mispronounced it and this one is a little bit more violet than the uh, Bengal Rose and the Opera Rose. It's a beautiful shade. You could probably get it with just adding a little bit of blue or purple to um, Opera Rose, but it's a beautiful color. Now I'm testing, I'm swatching this, um, well, I swatched before the third one, from the left on this row is by Talents and the color is called Rose. It's okay, it's a little bit muted. It's a pretty color, but as I said, I really wanted intense colors here, so that didn't make it to my final uh, palette. Then the next one is Schminke Purple Magenta and it's also not that bright like the other ones. The one before last in this row is Windsor & Newton Magenta and that one is beautiful and bright. It's a little bit similar to the Rose Tyrian, so probably you don't need both. And the last one in this row is Windsor & Newton Brilliant Violet and I really like this one. It's super bright. Um, it's very, well, it's a little bit more purplish than the one I'm swatching now, which is the Shinhan Pass Red Violet one, uh, which I love. It's super intense. So both of these, these colors, well, every super bright pink or, you know, violet or something like that um, immediately <laughs> wins me over just because those are my favorite colors. And you get also really beautiful shades when you add more water to them. And the palette that I'm using is a Magello palette. It has, I think, 24 wells and a large mixing area. And it has also a lid that clips on and the lid can also be used um, as a mixing area. I think it's made for acrylics and oils. And um, I just really liked the setup uh, because it's the wells are all around. You'll see that as I pour the paints into my palette. And so that's what I decided to get. And it's a really nice palette. I really like it. So this one is Windsor & Newton Brilliant Purple. And it's kind of like the classic dioxazine violet that you find in each brand. Uh, it's very intense and pretty purple. And now I'm using a couple of watercolors that I actually showed in a previous recent uh, video. So this one is Shinhan watercolor and the color is called lilac and you can see that it's very pastel and very opaque. You can see how it covers that black line that I have at the top. I really like this color. I like the opacity of it and I wanted to include it in the palette. The next one is lavender. Again, it's a Shinhan watercolor and it also it's also pretty opaque or semi-opaque and has a very lovely lavender color. The next one is Shinhan Pass Gray and it's just a mixture of uh, black pigment with white pigment. Um, but I like having such a nice light gray and not having to mix it all the time. So I included it in my palette. You can see it's very opaque. It covers that uh, black line very easily. The next one I was very curious about. I don't use a lot of dark, dark colors, but I thought it would be nice to have uh, at least a dark blue. And this one is Indigo by Shinhan Pass. And unlike many indigo um, colors that are usually a mix of a few pigments and usually have black in them, this one is a single pigment and it has PB66 in it. And you can see that when it's used concentrated, it almost looks black, super intense very very dark 
and then when you add water to it you get this lovely uh, muted indigo color I really like it it's it's kind of on the grayish side uh, really lovely I might consider adding it to my watercolor palette even though I'm pretty much in love with my schminke indigo so maybe not <laughs> And on the last row, I have uh, just a few basic blues and um, a couple of greens. And of course, I had to have teal because that's one of my favorite colors. Now, I really try to keep this, um, let's say, more minimal than my watercolor palettes, which have um, a lot more options. Uh, just because I wanted to see if I enjoy working with this uh, different medium. I know that I'm in love with watercolors, but this one I just wanted to set up this palette and see how it goes. So the green one is Shinhan Pass Linden Green, it's called. And it basically has the pigment of uh, phthalo green or the color that I'm also swatching now, which is Schminke green blue I think it's called oh helio green blue um, it has so pg7 and the shinhan green one uh, the that lime bright green just has white in it so you could uh, easily mix something similar um, the schminke one is very intense and um, quite transparent I would say uh, then I have that teal color is Shinhan uh, Compose Blue and it's a mixture of phthalo blue and phthalo green and it's a lovely uh, shade of teal. I really like having something like that in each of my palettes. And then the last two blues are Ultramarine Deep and phthalo blue which Shinhan Pass calls Cerulean Hue, Cerulean Blue Hue, but it's phthalo blue. So these are quite, you know, standard in each palette. You have the more red biased blue, the purplish blue, the ultramarine, and then the um, the warmer blue, the yellow biased blue, phthalo blue in this case. So now I'm setting up my palette and I'm just pouring a little bit. I don't want to fill it up. I want to see if I enjoy these colors um, and I want the flexibility of just adding something else in the well if I choose to. And I also like having that space to pull up clean color and, um, you know, add white if I want. So I don't like to pour a lot of paint. And that's it. I have my large area of pinks and violets. And yeah, so since I've... Um, did, since I set up this palette, I have had the chance to uh, paint with these a bit, not as much as I would like to. I definitely need some more practice time, but I have to say that I'm impressed with the Shinhan Pass. Uh, I think they are a great affordable option. I, you know, I'm kind of enchanted with all watercolors, so it's hard to... Uh, pick a favorite, but I think these are definitely worth a try. They're very interesting and very affordable. So that's my palette all set up. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I also have on my blog, I will link it uh, in the description box, uh, a custom palette that I recently made for a friend. So that one is using artist grade watercolors. It has 26 colors in it and um, you know, just as a one go-to artist grade uh, watercolor palette. It has some of my favorite uh, colors in it. So check that out also on my blog. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I will put links to um, most of these products in the description box. And yeah, just let me know if you need any more information. So thanks for watching. Bye.